I've got this big, beautiful plate of food here because today we're talking about something pretty important. We're talking about what kinds of kitchen scraps you can give to your chickens. Like us, chickens are omnivores, so they can eat both plant-based foods as well as meat. So it's pretty natural for us to ask, what exactly can we feed our feathered friends? You might be kind of surprised when I tell you that a chicken's diet should only consist of about 10% of your kitchen scraps. The rest of it should be a good layer feed. All right, time out, time out real quick. At least one of you is screaming at me right now saying, well, Brandon, I never feed my chickens layer pellets. Well, that's fine. You don't have to feed them layer pellets. And honestly, if you feed them just kitchen scraps or if you let them roam the yard or free range, do any of those things, your chickens are still healthy. You're still working hard. I know you are. You're working on giving the chickens the best life you possibly can. And when you compare that life to, let's say, the life of a commercial farm chicken, your chicken is so much happier and so much healthier. It doesn't matter if you're feeding it layer feed. You're doing great. You don't need to about layer feed keep doing exactly what you're doing because if you're watching this video chances are that you care about the nutrition that you're giving your birds and this video is going to help you with that so yes while a layer feed has all the essential nutrition that a chicken needs I wouldn't feel right only giving my girls a layer feed. I wanna make sure I'm giving them a rounded diet of everything I can possibly think of that is going to be healthy for them. It would not sit right with me to just give them layer feed. Let's go ahead and start off with fruits. The first fruits we're gonna talk about today are gonna to be apples and pears. Apples and pears are perfectly fine to give your chickens, but you wanna make sure that you're not giving them the seeds the seeds contain cyanide and cyanide can be deadly for your birds. So what we have here today, we've got some chopped up apples. Go ahead and give that to them. There you go, girls. Some other fruits you can give them are stuff like peaches and apricots and cherries or any of those fruits that have pits in them, but you are gonna to wanna to remove those pits before you feed them to your birds. The exception to that is gonna be avocado. You don't wanna feed avocado to your birds because it has person. And let's go ahead and have a debate if an avocado is a fruit or a vegetable down below because I definitely have it on the fruits list. <laughs> any of your citrus fruits are gonna be questionable. There's a lot of contradicting information you'll find all over the place about feeding citrus to your birds. We don't just because of that contradicting information. A lot of what you read is that citrus can inhibit calcium absorption. You don't want to know how many times I had to film that. <laughs> And what that means is they won't be able to process that calcium correctly when you do give them calcium. And then it's gonna be giving you some soft eggshells and that's not something that you want. So although citrus might not be deadly or really bad for them, if you do give it to them, give it to them in extreme moderation. You can give them bananas with the peel and everything. You can give them pineapples, kiwis, mango. We actually have some kiwis here we're gonna give them today. There you go, girls. Just give me a minute, you got more coming. You can feed them strawberries, blueberries, raspberries, pretty much any kind of berry that you and I can eat, the birds can eat as well. So today we've got some raspberries for them. Gonna get them loaded up on some berries. There you guys go, come on. <laughs> I bought these berries specifically for this video and uh, my wife is gonna be really upset if I fed them all to the birds. So I put some on here, but left the rest for my wife. <laughs> Melons, chickens love melons, they love cantaloupe, melons, all those things that have the nice fleshy fruit, the fleshy watery fruit with the nice rind on there, especially on like a hot summer day, they will sit there and peck at that, that melon and peck at the rind and just kind of pick it clean. And while they're doing it, it's also cooling them off. So during a hot summer day, a melon is a good way to go. Tomatoes, are tomatoes a fruit? Let's also have that conversation below because I have them on the fruit section. <laughs> they feel like a vegetable to me, but I feel like when I was in school, they were always they were always fruits. So let's go ahead and give them some, there you go, some tomatoes. Grapes and raisins are gonna be totally fine for your chickens, but if it was me and I was doing grapes, I would be cutting them into quarters at least so that way they don't choke on it. Same thing with my kids when they're little kids, I don't wanna be giving them grapes because they're gonna choke on it. I do the same thing with the birds. <laughs> Now let's talk about some veggies. Rhubarb and rhubarb leaves are gonna be a no due to oxalic acid, and I have no idea if I pronounce that right, but oxalic acid, rhubarb contains that, and it is not gonna be good for your chicken, so just kinda of steer clear of rhubarb. Collard greens, lettuce, kale, spinach, pretty much all the leafy greens you can think of, your chickens are gonna love. Today we've got some kale right here. There you go. And we've got some lettuce right here. Give them some lettuce. There you go, girls. The next one's kind of a funny one. Chickens cannot taste capsaicin. So if you have a really hot pepper, a chicken can eat it and it's not gonna hurt them at all. But I will say that no matter what kind of pepper I've ever tried to give the birds, they're not really a fan of it. Between them and the goats, they just don't really care about the peppers. So I've got an orange bell pepper here and I'm gonna see if they're gonna eat this today. <laughs> so this one just picked it up realized what it was and then dropped it right away. They're, they're just, 
not a fan. So if you have chickens that enjoy peppers, let me know what kind of peppers they'll eat. Mine just don't ever like them, but I'm gonna try anyways. You've also got things like your broccoli, your cauliflower, your carrots, your celery, all those types of things your chickens will absolutely love. Today we've got some celery. Give them some celery. There you go. We've got some broccoli we're gonna give them today. With broccoli, I tend to cut it pretty small. I'm always worried that the stems, they're gonna choke on the stems. Same with the cauliflower. I do the same with the cauliflower. I kind of cut it up pretty small. I don't want them to, to end up choking on any, anything. They don't, they don't have teeth. They just got these little beaks, you know what I mean? And we've also got some carrots today. We got some little baby carrots that we cut up. So let's give them the baby carrots. You guys are getting a feast today, aren't you? Now this is gonna be one that they're gonna have a whole lot of fun with, and that is corn on the cob. And you can do it with the husk and everything like this one is here. They're gonna sit there and peck at it and peck at it, and they're not gonna end up eating the the, the cob part of it. They're gonna peck all the, all the corn off of it, and they're gonna kinda have fun while they're doing it. So not only is this gonna be something that is good for them, but it's also gonna be something that they get to have fun with, and it kinda gives them a game throughout the day. There you go. We've got some cucumbers for them today, and cucumbers are gonna kinda work like how melons do during the summer. It's gonna give them a lot of water content. It's gonna give them some fun. They're gonna poke around against the skin and stuff, and they're just gonna have a really good time eating the cucumber. Cucumber's one that I've noticed that our birds especially really, really enjoy. You can do yams, you can do squash, you can do green beans, but if you're doing green beans, you need to make sure that they're cooked. I actually had green beans for this video specifically, but this morning I totally forgot to cook them and I couldn't put them on this plate because they weren't cooked. You cannot give birds raw beans. We've got some peas for them here today. You guys want some peas? If you do decide to do potatoes, don't do raw potatoes or potato skins. They have solanine. Hopefully I pronounced that one correctly as well, but they do have solanine. You don't want to be giving that to your chickens. If you find any wild mushrooms in your yard, don't give them to your chickens unless you're some kind of mushroom expert and you know exactly what that mushroom is. Don't, don't give those mushrooms to your chickens. Now let's talk about something all of us truly love and that's going to be carbs. So we're talking pastas and breads and those types of things. They're going to be okay in moderation. If you have a moldy loaf of bread in your cupboard, you don't want to give that to your chickens. So anything moldy or gross like that, don't give it to them. If you do pasta, do it cooked, and do all these things in moderation because it can lead to some pretty extreme weight gain in the chickens, and weight gain isn't necessarily a good thing. <laughs> they enjoy oatmeal, they enjoy quinoa as long as it's cooked. Now what can they have as far as meats go, proteins go, those types of things? They can have scrambled eggs. It's best to scramble them. You don't wanna give them an egg that looks like what they have in their chicken coop. You wanna make sure that you cook it and present it in a way that isn't gonna lead them to start eating their own eggs as they're being laid. You can do all kinds of nuts as long as they are shelled and as long as they're not salted. You don't wanna be putting too much salt into their diet. If you cook a big turkey, you can actually give them the turkey carcass and they're gonna love it. They can also eat chicken, but it has to be cooked. But to me, this is, this is kind of a weird one. I don't wanna feed my chickens chicken. That, it weirds me out, I can't do it. A lot of people do, it's totally okay, it's totally healthy for them. There's nothing wrong with it. Just make sure that you cook your chicken before feeding it to your chickens. <laughs> you can do shrimp, so if you have shrimp one night, and you, even if you just pull the shells off of the shrimp, you can give those shells to your chickens. They hear me talking about shrimp. <laughs> if you go fishing and you have some worms left over, or you have your guts or your fish heads or anything like that, you can give those to your birds. They love worms and fish and all kinds of stuff like that. You can give them ham, but you wanna do ham in moderation because of the salt content. And you can pretty much do any kind of meat that isn't super processed, super salty, anything like that. Just make sure it's as natural as possible. As for treats, we do black soldier fly larva. This is our bird's favorite treat. They love these things. So black soldier fly larva are gonna have a lot more nutritional value than something like millworms. So we, we, love, we love this stuff. They're seriously like, 12 F-35s just circling my house. <laughs> I can't even film. America. You can also give them millworms. Those are gonna be just fine. They're gonna be less expensive. They're also gonna be less nutritious, but the birds still love them. You can do yogurt in moderation. Yogurt is going to give them some probiotics and kind of give them some beneficial bacteria. And there are just all kinds of chicken treats that you can get on Amazon and just kind of all over the place. So go do a search for those. 
you can give them any of those types of treats, but make sure you do it in moderation. You don't want to be giving them too many of these treats. Too much of a good thing can be a bad thing. Now let's talk about things that you absolutely just should not give your chickens. First of all, like we talked about with the moldy bread, don't be giving a moldy bread. If you have chocolate, just like dogs, don't give your chicken chocolate or candy or anything like that. I know I shouldn't have to say that, but I do. <laughs> So don't give that kind of stuff to your chickens. Coffee grounds, chickens, as much as they help with compost, they aren't compost. So don't be putting coffee grounds into your chickens. You, that, that's bad news. Anything with that type of caffeine, you don't want to give to your birds. So steer clear of that. You don't want to be giving them pickles because of the salt content that pickles have. I know that they're just cucumbers, but the salt content that's in there is just way too high for them to be having. Like we talked about earlier, you want to be careful with citrus. Do your own research on citrus and if it's okay for chickens. We don't give ours any citrus, but you might, and that's totally fine. Just make sure you do your research first. Dry or uncooked beans. You do not want to give your birds dry or uncooked beans. They can absolutely be fatal for your birds and and pretty quickly as well. And just in general, don't, don't feed them anything that's really processed, really high in fats or salts or just anything like that. Try to stay as natural as you possibly can. Keep in mind that you don't wanna give your chickens more scraps than they can eat during the day. If you give them too many scraps and they don't finish it, it can really bring some unwanted pests in. It'll attract mice and rats and raccoons and whatever other kind of pests and, and predators that you have in your area. Now here at our house, our chicken's favorite treat is gonna be the black soldier fly larva. We did a full video on this stuff and you can watch that right here. Go ahead and go watch that video and it's gonna talk about all the health benefits that these have and how they are just jam-packed full of nutrition. So go watch that video and I'll see you there.